the rematch of the AFC Championship game from last year. Of course, Burrow's out, so you got Jake Browning uh, manning the ship over there. At home, 425, we have Jim Nance and Tony Romo on the call again in this one. Some Chief fans weren't really happy with the, the way Tony Romo called this game on Monday. A lot of Chief fans I saw online said so they muted their TV and listened to Mitch Holtis' uh, pl- uh, radio call instead of listening to Romo, which I mean, uh, Romo has some good comments, but, yeah, it can't be I like a- Romo. I, I, actually, I, actually, I like Romo's comments a lot because he's football savvy. He knows what he's talking about. And from a player standpoint, I love it because yeah, yeah. He, he, he's dissecting the play. He sees it. Yeah, I, I, I like Romo. I like him a lot. Yeah, he's a fine guy. I mean, yeah, I, I guess sometimes the the, the 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 dad jokes that he sometimes has on, but I mean, it's it's fine. You know, the, 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 these guys have to be kind of lively with it on. Uh, on I mean, they can't be you know stoic yeah, and statues. Maybe I don't hear that part of it. I just hear when they get into the play and he starts yeah. talking. Yeah, you're, lock, you're locked in on, on, on the yeah, on those. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so Chiefs seven point favorite at home. Um, yeah, four twenty five on New Year's Eve. So hopefully the guys can get a. Uh, a win and clinch the AFC West going into 2024. So, J.D., who do you have in this one, and what's your uh, prediction for this one? So, obviously, I have the Chiefs winning. I, I do. Uh, and so, uh, I have it scored 28-14. to 14. Okay. Well, you have a four-touchdown Mahomes performance, or you got some uh, Pacheco in there? I get Pacheco. Get a couple, you know, two passing. Too Russian. That's the way it's going. It's going to come out. That's what's like going to happen. It. Yep, twenty-eight to fourteen, Chiefs. So yeah, that's forty-two points. So the uh, over/under in the game is forty-four and a half points. So JD, you got a little bit below. Okay. All right. Let's see here. I, I just want to. Usually, I like. I like doing this to see what the uh, what the per- public percentage is right here. So on DraftKings, it says about eighty-three percent of the bets are on the Chiefs. I'm just curious to see what the public money is on this one. Uh, okay. But yeah, no, I, I like 28 to 14. You think it's a handily uh, from top to bottom kind of game? Uh, I think so. I think they, they, they don't seem like they're going to be in it. And we, we're going to come and, you know, probably score a couple of in the third quarter, maybe fourth, and then kind of run the football a little bit more. So I, I might even give them 28 to 17. 17 might come out, but I, I think 14 looks like it. it that's, that's where it will be. So it looks like sixty uh, percent of the money is on um, is on uh, Cincinnati to cover the seven points. Sixty percent of the money. Okay. Uh, it's not. It's not on the, the red range. Usually, when it's seventy thirty, that's when you're like, ooh, okay, that's. Uh, uh, seventy percent of the money is on one side. Getting a question here: What is the weather supposed to be at game time? Uh, anyone? John Clifford, looking at the hourly forecast, looks like it's going to be uh, no rain, just cloudy. And about thirty-four degrees, so um, I'd be freezing my uh, I'd be freezing my ass off in that, in that one. Thirty-four and clear uh, on thirty-four uh, and clear, thirty-four and clear. <laughs> right game time, yeah. So I I be bundled up, I'd layer up, JD. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everybody, thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts. Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.